So they're responsible for the waste, what the EPA calls cradle to grave. So from the time that waste is generated to the time it's properly disposed of, that is that generator's waste, essentially. It's their responsibility to ensure that it's profiled correctly, it's transported correctly, and disposed of correctly up to the point of destruction. To remain in compliance, a generator needs to make sure that their record keeping is in check, and make sure they have manifests stored correctly, they're getting manifests back from their disposal facilities. Um, before that material goes for disposal, they need to make sure that it's profiled correctly, the characteristics are accurate, they have copies of any analysis that's been performed, any previous waste determinations on that. Um, if there have been any process changes, they need to note that as well, and be aware that they need to change waste profiles based on changes in their process. So it's important for clients to have trusted resources for transportation and disposal because they are responsible for that waste stream from cradle to grave. So anything from the point where it leaves their facility to when it gets on the road to when it arrives at a disposal facility and is destroyed, it's very important that they understand they need a trusted resource along the way. They can be charged up to $75,000 per day per violation um, from the United States EPA based on the severity of the violation, the frequency of the violation, how it was reported, if it was reported, things of that nature. There are also civil penalties and criminal penalties that come along with those violations. Along with that, the environmental community is fairly well connected um, and that generator's reputation will most definitely be tarnished by improper disposal.